This is <laughs> local heaven for Toyota lovers, man. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Jake, you wanna you wanna take me down sure thing. this Remember lane the right here? I guess we can start here. This is a LJ80 um, that I picked up. I actually traded a dirt bike for it. And uh, so it's like the first, one of the first Samurais that we had here in the in the States that they would sell. And then right here is, uh, this one's like an 81. And over here we have a 88 Suzuki Samurai. Uh -huh. And uh, this one we picked up locally too. <laughs> and super clean. This is like our cleanest probably example. And uh, then we have uh, FJ. I'm sorry, is that an 87 or what? what it's year is an that? 88. 88. Yeah. And it's got the little, little half cab back there, the half top. Of course, that's when I graduated from high school and that is the vehicle that I wanted to go to the beach. But hey, you know, yeah, uno, we, uno jodido, you know, we got no money over here. This one's name is Lucy, actually. We call that one Lucy. So that's, this was like my mom's little samurai. Um, and then this is a FJ40. This is like one of the first projects that I started on, actually. And uh, we did a, well, it came with a, it was wrecked and then it came with a V8 already in it but uh we put a we put a different different motor and just did a bunch of work to it and then we this one it's uh in the works it wasn't mine originally but then i scooped it up um but yeah these are all nine this 79 78 and 76 fj40s and then that's my dad's the, green uh, one. the iron pig yeah and then we have the iron pig the in the front of it. oh this is your dad's right here yeah this one so we've done, they're all V8 swapped, all of them, but they have, both of these are manual, this one's automatic, and yeah, these two are lifted, and is yeah, there, that's is, about it. I mean, and there's got to be a clear reason why, is it LS swap, or what, what, what uh, No, no, there? just, uh, this is a Chevy 350, this one is a 355, and I believe this one's just a 350 as well, okay. with maybe a mild cam or something. This one has the craziest motor in it, which is like a race motor. A race motor? Yeah, it's like really hopped up and aluminum heads and stuff like that. But it's like way too much motor for this truck. Oh man, dad, dad gets the best, man. Yeah. Dad deserves the best. Absolutely. And and this, this to me, guys, when I saw this, when I saw these guys bring this bad boy, the one I'm about to show you, when I saw him bring this one, that's when I was like, I lost it. I'm like man these guys are young these young bucks you know have this sweet sweet vehicle right here and they're loving it okay they're loving it talk to me about the uh, this, the this, infamous this, iron pig uh, yeah the latest one we picked up uh, around corpus area this one's a 1974 it's mostly all original and uh <laughs> yeah it it's actually still runs but just needs a little <laughs> fine tuning little things that we're gonna be uh fixing up here I checked out, uh, and guys, I urge you to check out that video. I'll leave it in the description. That's one of their latest via, uh, uh, videos. Love it, man. Love it. This is, what do you call this? Uh, is that a, like a teal? It's, or? it's an F Oh, the color, I'm not yeah. sure as far as the green. I haven't looked that up. But it's an FJ55. Like it's like a Vienna green. Yeah. Is that, Vienna, is that the It's correct? like a Vienna or a Giverny green, something like that. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Yeah. What's the plan for this? The plan for this one is, well, obviously I want to keep, if everything uh, works as far as the original motor and everything, just like, uh, I want to keep all that as original as I can. And I want to keep the look of vintage old patina and just kind of like uh, fix some of the rust here and there, patch it, and maybe just do a little lift later on down the road. But other than that, just kind of use it, cruise it for what it is, you know, it's a, it's a survivor. And, you know bring it back to health and that's that's the plan for it that's awesome go awesome. camping you know go to the beach it would be really fun for those people jake that don't understand why they call it i know why but why do they call it the iron um, pig? well to my understanding is just i mean everything is metal you don't you don't find it they're big they're heavy and they're just all metal there's hardly any plastic and, and the face and the face yeah oh yeah there you go that's actually the probably the real reason <laughs> <laughs> looks like a face. uh always uh you know uh, that's that's my little contribution yeah, yeah that's that's a uh, part of it that uh, part of it i love i love these vehicles man uh let's see here that one we got it for free in corpus what this yeah so that has the same motor as this other this pig how do you know what do you mean how do i know <laughs> 
So, uh, what displacement was uh, this one? Uh, ooh, it's a four point. <laughs> is it a four point five? <laughs> you okay. Uh, I'm not, I actually don't even know the displacement, but it's uh, one F. Well, it's it's obviously like six, right? Yeah, straight you know, six. But, uh, I think it's like a four, or it might be a four liter. It's actually probably what it is. No, yeah. Is, is your what? Did they make them like that? Is that original? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, that's the original motor? Yeah, that's the original motor. Original? Yeah, and then this this one is like this one's like a late sixties maybe. And it has the, the air filter is an oil bath. So there's actually just oil down here that catches the little dust, debris, whatever. I think I think you have enough projects until you're like oh, yeah. eighty years old. This older. one's more of kind of just like a donor at this point. Because the guy that I got it from cut off the front of the frame to use on his wrecked 40 and he took the hood and the bezel and so i just scabbed on his old parts just so i can roll it around because it was like had nothing to support it see i used the angle iron to fuse the tie rod that he cut and like just you know rickety but just got it going here, yeah, this one's three on the tree so oh, so some of those pigs came with three on the tree most of them and then the later years came with the four speed on the floor which that one has which is really nice so what kind yeah. of the salt vehicle. Salt vehicle. Salt the land, and, and then this. Then you have a. This is like my favorite truck. That that's your favorite truck. This is my favorite truck. I have like really big like visions, I guess, for it. This is a 1967 Jeep Kaiser M715. And uh, they only made like they only made like 30,000 of these. I don't know what's it. 30,000. Yeah, for the military. So it's a military issue. Oh shit. It has a Tornado 230 single barrel car, and the spark plugs and everything is all like waterproof. It has a sealed distributor. It was like built to go underwater, pretty much. All that stuff's already kind of cracked and diesel. You know. But but there's no snorkel. No snorkel. Some of them came with a snorkel. <laughs> I didn't get that one. No, yeah, I was, I was yeah. being a sarcastic douche, dude. No, yeah. Was, yeah. <coughs> you can walk back there. Let me get this out of your way. This but Rosa Parks wrote this bike down. <laughs> Rosa Parks wrote it. <laughs> Let me see here. And when when did you uh when did you get this one, Jake? This was actually the uh, second project I got after that first FJ40, the tan one. The tailgate's really cool. <coughs> So what do we got here? This is a this is the last one. This was the beach rig. No, it's actually not the last one. We got one more after this one. Actually, two the, more. This is just a rusty, rusty, trusty cruiser that is finally uh, needs a head gasket. You know, it has like two hundred seventy-five thousand miles. Gotta ask you this. We put like probably a thousand. <laughs> Jake, in your hands, is this better to go and find a replacement engine, or is it better for you to do the work? Uh, well, for me to do the work on, but like if you find a, a replacement engine out there that's a good deal, well then by all means go for it, and scoop that, that up. Fun. But uh, the the thing that's special about this one, I wouldn't bother with it, but it's triple locked. So yeah, so it's a really capable truck. It's ugly, but it's perfect because we can use it, beat it up. So that's why I want to fix it. So this is like a trail, no trail shit. truck, yeah. Triple lock, dude. That's and this one's triple locked as well. Yes. And that thing still couldn't pull mine. But <laughs> yeah, this one's a little bit, a little bit nice. I need, a, I want to lift it and armor it some more so I can take it out there on the trails. I won't be worried about my rockers. This is yours right here. Yeah. I thought this was David's. No, mine's at home. Um, I, Isaac, Isaac uh, on the teeth. brought me over here because my pickup was here, so I'm taking the pickup back. Gotcha, gotcha. David told me to sell this one, and then uh, he ends up getting one, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I it's see funny. what you were trying yeah, to do. Yeah, it's because I was trying to get him to he sell it He was trying to, to be me. a sketchy Yeah, I was Facebook like, give it, I was like, give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> and then it just happened to be that someone that I knew was like, hey, I have my 80 that I use it only for the beach. You want it? You want to buy it? I said, yeah. So I bought it right away, and, and then I bought another one for my dad. So yeah, oh, that one's really nice. Yeah, we're we're trying to get all the FZJ 80s out of the uh, the ones in the valley that are left. We're trying to we're trying to get them. <laughs> scoop them up. Yeah, scoop They're them up. This one has 300,000 miles on it. No, so this is the one you're using nowadays. Yeah, yeah I I, I this is like my travel rig now. So like my daily <laughs> travel rig AC. <laughs> it's my it's a luxury for me. All these other yeah. shit boxes that have AC. Well, that one also so, is this travel rig. Crazy. Yeah, that one too with the tent. That's when I take Isaac. This is this is yours also, Jake. Yeah. But this one's been in the family. So my sister drove it to high school. 
and then my brother drove it to high school and then i didn't drive to high school but uh, i kind of just fixed it up after my brother was kind of done with it okay i recognize uh that vespalia yeah. right there from uh somebody somebody used to use it yeah so uh like on my pickup or well, i actually right now if you go with it we just put a new camper another camper on it but this is one of my campers i sold it to jake but yeah, this this uh, everyone always says the Westphalia camper. It's it's I put that decal on there. It's not even a Westphalia. It's, oh shit! Yeah, it's I because I you, dude, that's not right, man. People always say it's actually this is right here. It's a it's a wilderness camper. So this right here, you see the hinges. It it pops up like a book. It's a huge tent. You can stand up in it. These were only made for a certain time. Uh, I believe in uh, Colorado, and then they they closed down shop. So this is probably like a 1987 camper. But uh, yeah, I sold it to Jake. He still has it. Um, he promised he wouldn't sell it to anyone else. If he does, he's gonna sell it back to us. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, he, he now uses it, which is pretty cool. It's it's cool see, still seeing it, you know. Well, I love the design, man. And you had me fooled for the longest time. Every time I would see that Everyone, sticker, yeah, yeah I was like, man. I've always I've always liked the the Vanigans, and to yeah. me, it kind of reminded me of that whole like. The, the camper wagon. thing, so I was like, I'm just gonna have to go. And I copied someone on the internet, someone else had already done it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I copied it. No, you drew inspiration. Drew inspiration, yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I, I thought about it, but yeah. Okay, definitely. and then we have this. This is actually one of those forerunners that you can remove the top or yeah. what? Yeah, first gen forerunner. This one's an 88. Oh, and um, yeah, so I actually have another top that I picked up for the black one that I'm gonna put on. Turn it on, Jake. Um, I need to get a battery for it, but this one has a 305. Someone swapped it, automatic transmission, three speed. So I can't really take this one on trips. Um, it wastes so much gas. So I kind of want to put a 3.4 in here and inject and fuel inject it and just make it more reliable with maybe a manual. So, but other than that, it's all original. And actually the odometer reads 62,000 miles, so. But this is not uh, it's, it wasn't in the family forever, right? No, we picked this one up locally. Oh, it scooped up for twenty five hundred bucks. So twenty five hundred bucks, man. Yeah, and the gas tank was out of it, and so a lot of people had gone to see it, but no one wanted to buy it because they couldn't hear it running. And I was like, man, I don't really care if the motor doesn't run. The body's so clean, and everything's there. So I was like, sold, you know. It, it took someone that, that could appreciate the vehicle. Yeah, because we can always change that out, no problem, you know. And it seems like that's the story with everything you got in here, man. Like, right. this is what somebody else might consider junk at one mm -hmm. point. Only a select few people yeah. know what you got here. Yeah, I try to pick them up for, you know, really good prices, you know. And so, yeah. That's awesome, guys. All right, well, I think I've taken a lot of their time, man. I was supposed to come here and just, uh, you know, do a little meet and greet, and it turns out, you know, that I just ended up killing their whole evening, man. Uh, th these guys probably had, I don't know, they are gonna, they were probably gonna trade off <laughs> on several transmissions. They were gonna rebuild a couple of, of engines, and yeah. now it just <laughs> screwed everything up, man. Thanks a lot, guys. If you guys wanna check out Overland Nomad, Check out is, I'm gonna leave the, the link in the description so you can go out there and you can click on uh, and subscribe, okay?